All right, let's talk about COVID-19 right now. This month has now been the deadliest and the most infectious month that we've seen since the start of this pandemic. Yeah, across the country, we've seen more than 5 million new COVID cases diagnosed and more than 65,000 people have died. Of course, there's now hope with these two vaccines available across the country. And today, some residents and workers in long-term care facilities got their shots. And our Rich Night tonight shows us how it all worked down in Bargersville. 86 year old Dolores Williams just celebrated Christmas with her family through a window. They stood outside the window with the window closed and they sang carols to me. And believe me, they cannot sing. But it was great to it was great to see them and hear them. But I I just wished I could have been with them. Dolores gladly accepted her first opportunity to get the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> I had to look to make sure I, I didn't feel it at all. About 95% of the residents at the Aspen Trey Senior Community are willing and able to get the shot. Considering the times we're in right now and the situation we're all in, and, and uh, uh, this is no little thing, it's very important. This is the first CVS Health on-site vaccine clinic at a long-term care facility in the Indianapolis area. About 200 residents and staff received the Moderna vaccine. It's just a feeling of hope. Today is the first step of two in which we can rejoin our residents with their loved ones. They no longer have to visit through windows. They get to touch, hug, and hold one another soon. And so I think this is pretty monumental. CVS Health has more than 15 teams spread out across the state, hoping to complete the first round of vaccine clinics at long-term care facilities by the end of January. It gave me a great sense of purpose um, as a pharmacist to be able to get up this morning and know that there's probably not been a day in my career that I've been able to lead a team that's going to have as big of an impact in saving lives as, as we are starting today. I really urge people to get this vaccine. I really do, at, no matter what age. CVS returns in four weeks to administer the required second dose. Bloomington-based Cardon & Associates, which operates Aspen Trace, says up to 70% of its staff was also willing to receive the vaccine. Aspen Trace has reported no COVID-19 deaths and only five resident cases. Across the state, about half of the COVID deaths that we've seen are residents living in long-term care facilities.